You know, we have an absolute epidemic today in Christianity. And uh, this whole flat earth craze, you know, it started, I don't know, it started probably back in the early 2000s and whatever. And uh, basically people just jump onto this, Christians jump onto this flat earth craze. And, and many Christians actually almost kind of worship the flat earth or worship the shape of the earth. Like many Christians I've seen, like there are entire Christian YouTube channels based on preaching the gospel, no, based on the gospel of Jesus Christ, no, based on, based on one thing, not by the gospel of Jesus Christ, not on key doctrine in the Bible, there are entire Christian ministries based off trying to prove the earth is flat. Talk about an obsession. Talk about, like, these, some flat earthers, and obviously not all, but many flat earthers I've seen, almost worship the flat, or they do basically worship the flat earth, and they basically have obsessed, these so-called Christian flat earthers, they obsess over the flat earth, almost to the point of idolatry. That's how bad it is. They obsess to it, uh, with it over almost to the point of idolatry. And uh, I, I was looking at a sermon by Pastor Anderson, uh, where he was debunking the flat earth, and some of the comments that these flat earthers left just baffle my mind. And they just defy like, science, they defy the Bible, and they just defy sanity. So I'm going to read some of these comments and just, yeah. So, so one person says, you are wrong, Sanderson, and that's, that's not, even his name, not even his name, but you are wrong, Sanderson, we are not spinning, lol, or been on the moon. Okay, yeah, that's partially true. We're not. We have not. The moon landing was. The, I. He, here's the thing about this. This comment was partially true because I believe the moon landing was a hoax. So yeah. You're giving your meaning, not God's. Are you a shell for the government? So he spoke shill wrong, but. Yeah. Let's see what else. I, I took some screenshots of these comments, and I'm saving them. Here's one. Uh, it said one other comment says. You should stop posting flat earth videos and making yourself look like an idiot because indeed because it is indeed flat and stationary. The, like I'm telling you, these flat earth comments just defy sanity and defy the Bible. <laughs> and you know, if, to anyone who just, just joined, joined the stream, I'm basically reading comments that I'm basically reading YouTube comments from flat earthers. Anyway. So yeah, that's just anyone who just joined the stream. But um, where's that one comment? It says, "Oh, here's one. Let's see. Here's one. Wow, are you gonna feel silly when you actually figure this out? It is. This is not difficult. Nope. Did you know that that the Earth has been proven to be round? I mean, whoever Melanie R. after wrote this comment." Hate to break it to you, but the Earth has been proven to be round over a thousand years ago. Yeah. And I, like I said, I'm saving these comments. Okay, let's see here. Here's another comment. So a guy called John Nelson says, Not very impressive. If it is the height of foolishness to believe in a flat Earth, what do you call someone who believes we are standing on a sphere spinning at thousands, thousands of miles an hour? I would say someone who isn't, who shouldn't be a pastor. Let me get this straight. You're saying that Steve Anderson shouldn't be a pastor because he doesn't believe in a flat earth? Since when did the flat earth become this big, huge biblical doctrine? It's insane. Okay. Let's see what else these weirdos left. Here's one. Anderson is ignorant of biblical geocentrism and cringeworthy sermon. I don't even know where to start with this sermon. This, there is so much error. So this, I'm telling you, the amount of grammar errors in these comments is insane. There's so much grammar errors. Shocking that someone like Stephen is still deceived by spinning pears in 20, 2018. Spinning pears? Where, where do you get that from? Spinning pears? You think... Let me get this straight. You flat earthers think we believe in spinning pears? What are you talking about? <sighs> Good grief. Here's one. 
The latest telescope is called Lucifer. Why that name? I don't know why that name. We're we're leaving the comments. Here's why I stopped following this clown. So you're gonna break fellowship with someone over the flat earth. See what I mean? They basically worship the flat earth. They're really gonna break fellowship with someone over the shape of the earth. Talk about obsession. They talk about idolatry. They worship the flat earth. A flat earth the flat earth is like a god to them, basically. Why do you think there's entire listen? There's entire Facebook groups and ministries based off the of flat earth. Notice how we don't make ministries based off. Here's the thing. I don't have a ministry based off the globe earth. Okay. There are entire Christian ministries based off the flat earth. I don't have a ministry based off a of globe earth. What? Oh, someone left a comment. Oh, so, thanks. Thanks for watching. But whoever, whoever, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that is my life, but yeah, someone just left a comment, but yeah, I mean, what was I getting at? Oh yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't start my entire ministry based off the flat earth. There, are, I mean, I don't have a ministry based off the globe earth. There are like, like these little pseudo-Christian cults out there who base their ministry off the flat earth. And for those of you who just joined, I'm basically reading comments that from flat earthers that just defy sanity, sanity. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am talking real time. Someone just left a comment, but, uh, so, I'm not, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, where are they? So, let's see what I'm like. Okay, let's see some more comments, please. Here's one. The Gospel According to Stephen Anderson. No thanks. And the person who wrote that was Mark R.M. Hey, to break it to you, but... The gospel is not the flat earth. See what I mean? They're like Christian cults. They were they basically worship the flat earth like a god to them. Well, the gospel is not the flat earth. Are you like, are you insane? Are you sane? Like, the gospel is not the flat earth. The gospel is what Jesus Christ preached. Okay. I can't believe Steve Anderson is really debunking the flat earth. He is so, get this, so effing weird. Does that sound like a, does that sound like a Christian mouth to you? It is so effing weird. Does that sound like a, a, a believer's mouth to you? Yeah. This, this guy and his following are so deceived. What, we're deceived because we don't believe in, in a, a flat earth? So, so anyone who follows Steve Anderson, oh, because we don't believe in your God, the flat earth. We don't believe in the flat earth God. We're deceived. Once again, your gospel is the flat earth according to these guys. These guys basically worship the flat earth. Yes, yeah, so I just read a bunch of comments by just triggered flat earthers. Um, and these comments just defy sanity. So, here's the thing about this. These guys have like these pseudo crit oh ow oh uh, yeah okay anyway but there's like these pseudo christian cults on facebook who just have their entire christian ministry off the flat earth and not only does the bible not teach a flat earth which is ridiculous there's, oh by the way there's a myth out there that says that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that, someone says that in Europe, lots of churches became mosques. Yeah, that is true. They're, they're turning cathedrals into um, uh, Muslim mosques. So, probably because of the uh, migrant crisis in Europe. But, basically, there's like these, what was I getting at? Oh, yeah. So, the Bible does not teach a flat earth. We've already established that. Um, science uh, has proven this flat earth nonsense wrong. And this whole idea that Christians in the past his historically historically believed in flat earth. Oh man, the lies you've been told. <laughs> the lies you've been told. Um, no, Christians never historically believed in flat earth. This flat earth craze only started like, I don't know, when, when, it, I don't know, when, it, when, did, when did it start? I don't know, but 
Yeah, and, and you know, some people say, oh, because Freemasons teach a, gro a globe Earth, therefore the globe Earth is bad. Nope. You know, like some people say, like I've heard some of these jokers, like, like what's the guy's name? Um, what's the, wow, oh, Husky29 or Husky394XP or something, that um, joker. He basically thinks that, oh, because the Catholic church teaches a trinity, therefore it's not biblical. Okay, mm -hmm. listen, I do acknowledge that the Catholic Church is not Christianity. I, 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 I agree that the Catholic Church is not biblical Christianity. But just because they teach a trinity does not mean that it's not biblical. Because it is biblical. Okay? So, basically, this whole myth that, the, that Christians historically believe... Oh, yeah? Uh, someone says, is flat earth bringing people to know Jesus Christ? Uh, wait, oh. Uh, I don't think Flat Earth is bringing anybody to, G to Jesus Christ. Um, I, I don't believe it is. Um, and, it, and if, you know, and once again, we're saved by grace through faith, not by, not by what shape the Earth is. So, you know, whether, whether you believe the Earth is round or flat does not make, mean you're sa unsaved or anything like that. But you have these, like, pseudo-Christian cults on Facebook who will say, like, oh, you know, like I've heard some people say, I'm a false prophet because I teach a round earth. Or I say, oh, because I believe in a round earth, I'm a, I'm a false teacher. Well, first of all, I don't claim to be a teacher. I don't claim to be, be a pastor. Okay, I never said so. I, like they say, like, I some people call me, oh, you're a youth pastor. No, I never said, I'm, I'm not a youth pastor. I never claimed to ever be a youth pastor. But, oh, you're a false teacher. I never claimed to be, I, I'm not claiming to be a teacher. I'm just a random guy making YouTube videos. But... Like, these pseudo-Christian cults, they'll say, like, oh, if you don't believe in their flat-earth god, and like I said, they worship this flat-earth to the point of idolatry. Oh, if you don't believe our flat-earth god, you're unsaved. Well, once again, we're saved by grace through faith, not by what shape the earth is. But, um, to the, to the six people who are watching this stream, oh, someone left. If you can't, wait, oh, if you can't believe life, if you, oh, wait, sorry, oh, crap. If you can't believe if you can't live a life where you felt so alive, you could live the, how are you going to die a death when you felt your, uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, I don't see your question. Let me see. Yeah, I, I, don't know how, I don't know how to answer that properly, but, um, and to those who just, to, to those who just joined the stream, I basically, I basically read a bunch of comments from Fly Earthers. That just defy the Bible. That's like sort of station to cover. That so I, I basically just read a bunch of comments from flat earthers that defy the Bible, defy um sanity, sanity, and defy science. And I was saying how they have these little pseudo pseudo Christian cults on Facebook uh, that I've seen a couple of times that just worship this flat Earth. <laughs> and like I said, not only does the Bible not teach a flat Earth. Oh, who's this? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see the person's question. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh man, my shoulder actually feels heavier than the other one. But anyway, I might I might cut the stream somewhere around here. But uh, anyway, so don't believe this flat Earth. No. Oh. I don't know, yeah, but, sorry, but anyway, don't believe this flat earth, oh, oh yeah, it's, he said, someone says, why don't you debate Nathan Roberts, yeah, Nathan Roberts, I've heard of that guy, he's, he's isn't he the guy like, oh, that, what's this, what's the guy's name, the, the, your curve, your curveless earth, yeah, what is your dream goal, um, my dream goal, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I actually, I, I would like to be a full-time YouTuber, YouTuber, but, I don't know, but yeah, Nathan Roberts, he's that flat earther on YouTube who who has the channel Your Curveless Earth. And um he just he's just obsessed with the flat earth. I mean, every every video on his channel, he, he in fact, instead of preaching the gospel like he should be doing, he preaches the flat earth. He goes on the beach and has a sign, Oh, flat earth is real. Like, come on. And he's he's a perfect example of of people who are just obsessed with the flat earth. To the point of idolatry. I mean, he, he basically worships the flat earth. I mean, I'm not saying he claims to do that, but he essentially, 
the amount of emphasis. And by the way, the shape of the earth was never that big of a doctrine in the Bible. Since when did the apostles or Jesus Christ ever obsessed with the, over the shape of the earth, like this Nathan Roberts guy? Uh, so he, you know, I, I'm not saying he's unsaved, because obviously we're not saved by what shape the earth is, we're saved by a grace through faith. But he, he needs to stop this obsession over the flat earth and actually just preach the gospel and, and stop obsessing over the flat earth and stop worshipping the flat earth to the point of idolatry. So, um, yeah, he is, you know, he's, you know, yeah, I don't have a whole, a whole lot to say about him. My, oh my, I mean, my dream goal, I mean, oh wait, what? Oh, sorry, the comment just disappeared, but anyway, so I might cut the stream somewhere around here, but... Yeah, so don't, don't believe in this fly earth nonsense. And this whole myth that Christians originally believed in the fly earth, yeah, that's a lie. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Let's get at the stream and figure out how to do this. Okay. Okay, I stop streaming and.